Hello everybody and welcome to Dragon Waffles. I'm going to be experimenting again today in this video because uh, I'm facing a little bit of an art block and I really wanted to practice backlighting and backlighting um, I haven't found like a tutorial for it. I really want to look one up because I haven't been able to find a good one but this is my attempt at backlighting without using a tutorial and it it was a lot of fun. It was I don't know, lighting is just something that I enjoy trying to do, even if I'm not very good at it or if I don't know. I mean I guess that's a matter of opinion. But I also added a background as you see I'm drawing right now and I added these like cool canyons and I saw this picture on Pinterest of this girl in like high west high waisted shorts and she was like leaning up against a car and she was sort of in this pose and so that's where my inspiration came from and I was like oh I really like I don't know let's draw canyons because canyons are fun to draw when there's like lighting and so here I am like adding the shading just some quick rough sketches for the shading so I know like where the light's coming from then I added a second sketch layer which is what I'm doing right now I gave her some sunglasses and this sketch layer I don't I was kind of planning on using this as a liner, but later I realized it really wasn't good enough, so I do add liner later. And here I'm deciding what clothes to put her in, and I decided to give her this cute tank top with like three spaghetti straps on top. And then I added her hand, and I'm actually quite surprised, but when I was drawing the hands for this picture, I didn't really struggle that much. Like, they're really kind of play doh y if you look at them too closely, but like, I didn't like spend too much time thinking about it and I really like that I was able to do that because that's not something I usually can get away with but it worked pretty well and then here I'm adding the color for the background and I didn't do a second sketch layer for the background I just went straight into coloring it and what I did was just use the selection tool and select different spots that I wanted in the background to be different colors and then I just added gradients to them to make them look a little less flat and then I just added little bits of extra color here and there just to make it again not look quite so flat and I do add a few little details but some of them I don't like like those boulders and then I added this grass but I'm not sure if I kept that to the end I might have but I might not and then I realized the background was still a little too plain so I added these two huge canyon well I don't know just giant rocks so that I could frame the sun, which is where the light source was, and I wanted that to be very important, so that's why I framed it in with the rocks. And then I also used the scarf. Well, it's not really a scarf, it's kind of like her hair piece. I guess it's just a scarf she put in her hair. But then I used the scarf that was in her hair, and I sort of looped it around to point back at the sun to try and add some kind of movement for your eye. I don't know if it worked, something I learned in school, and I was like, let's try it, and there you go. <laughs> I've heard people talk about, like, you know, keeping track of where the eye goes in art. I didn't learn it for art, necessarily. In school, I learned it, like, with graphic design because you need to use typography and, you know, other little notes and things to draw people's attention to the most important parts of the design and then have it slowly build down to less and less important things so as they get, if they're interested, they'll make it all the way down and if they realize that's not something that's like for them then they won't continue because they realize oh that's not really being directed towards me so I don't have to look at it and I kind of try to use that for my art I don't know how well it translates but I mean every little bit that you learn from anything you can usually apply to something else and that's what I'm trying to do but here I'm working on the line art and just making sure everything fits the way it does. And then I just rotated the canvas so that I could add her scarf. And I didn't end up going with that simple design for the scarf. I added a little bit more wrinkles, trying to make it look a little bit more realistic. I don't know if it worked. I kind of think it just looks messy now, but I decided to stick with that. Then when it came to coloring, this is where it got a little tricky because I'm not really used to coloring things with shading this extreme with the backlighting and everything. So I was like trying to use colors that made it look like it was in shadow and colors to try to make it look like there was light back there. But like it kept, I don't know, she just looked purple and then I added some brown there and uh, I mean I just kept trying different things. I think I end up blocking this whole attempt out and retrying. But yeah, there it goes. <laughs> so here I just added the selection tool and tried to add some shading again to the skin. And I think this worked a lot better. I was a lot happier with it. I do add some like adjustments later on down the road for this illustration just to try and make everything fit together a little bit better. And then here I colored her hair green and you're probably like, why the heck did she color her hair green? 
but when I was starting the illustration, I was thinking, I want to draw someone with green hair, and I, I don't know why, so that's why I attempted to draw, I mean, color her hair green at the beginning, but I just, I don't know, it wasn't going where I wanted it to, so I did end up giving her a more natural hair color, and then I was just choosing some colors for her, uh, her top and her skirt, I colored it in blue, but I do end up changing that more to, to like a greenish brown, there it is, I mean, you could call it diarrhea brown, mm. <laughs> but I, I think it worked really well with the color of her like maroon top and then I added the colors to the scarf which was a little tricky because like the scarf's such a thin drawing I mean well it's such a thin object that when light hits it it's going to be a little bit more transparent and it's also going to have more brightness on the outside of the entire piece just because of the way it's being backlit so that was a little tricky to get right and then I also just adjusted like some of the curves and the uh saturation to the background. I added a little bit of a blur to the outside of her skin where the light would be hitting it just to kind of attach her to the background. Then after that I still realized she was too bright compared to the background so I added some like shading and then I was done. So this is the finished illustration. Uh, it was really fun practicing uh, you know backlighting and different colors and like sunset colors. So, hey, if you enjoyed this drawing, you can check out some of my other ones. And I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all have a delicious evening for Waffles! Bye!